Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be answering some questions that I got from you guys on Instagram and on Snapchat. So without further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> As I'm editing this, I just want to say a new intro is coming soon. I'm just really lazy. So I'm going to start with um, the questions that I got on Snapchat, which was only a couple because I mean, obviously I don't have that many subscribers or anything, but it was nice because I didn't get too many questions so I can answer all of them. But the first one was, okay, but do you feel it all ready to raise a kid at 19? And like I had my doubts like throughout my pregnancy, like off and on, like if I was ready and like if I could do it or not but like at the end of the day I feel like it's kind of like instinctual like you just kind of do what you have to do there was like a couple times when we first brought her home where like she would cry and like everything nothing that I would do would like make her happy and I would kind of doubt myself as like a mom and like didn't think I was doing anything right and, like that was kind of hard but now that she's like three weeks old and like she's been home longer like, I think that I'm, like, 100% ready to, like, be a parent and to, like, be there for her and, like, raise her the way, like, the best way that I can. But, um, I also have a younger brother who, growing up, like, our parents worked a lot, so I, like, helped him, like, get ready for school and, like, pack his lunch and all that. So, like, I've had, like, practice, I guess, I guess being an older sibling, like, not being an only child. But I don't think that you could really prepare yourself or, like, I don't know like study to be a parent no matter what age you become one so I don't really think that my age is gonna have an impact on how I raise her if anything we'll just be closer like how my mom and I are because I'll be able to relate to her better because I'm not old uh, my next question that I received I got on snapchat and on Instagram which is how's your relationship going and my relationship is going really really well Colin is so in love with her and just like watching the way he interacts with her is so amazing and special and it makes you kind of see him in a different light than how I've seen him before to see that he not only loves me but loves our daughter. We do have our moments because waking up in the middle of the night I'm just like so tired and just not in a good mood so when she cries if I don't wake up immediately he wakes up first and wakes me up to feed her then. I like sometimes we just like bicker like stupid things but in the morning we always are fine and talk about it and we know it's just stupid but uh, we've definitely gotten used to waking up in the middle of the night more now so it's definitely bringing us closer together being able to like bathe her together and take pictures of her and like sleep with her and all kinds of all that stuff so it's like really rewarding and it's really like made our relationship a lot stronger and just brought us closer together in general. Um, the next question I got was how bad was the actual labor, which if you saw my labor and delivery story time, I'll link it down below. It really wasn't that bad. The labor itself, I got the epidural, so I didn't really feel anything. I think the worst part was probably the fact that I had a fever and I just felt like trash the whole time. But as far as pain went, I didn't, I could feel her like coming out, like I could feel her head down there and stuff. But it wasn't painful, it was just like there. It's hard to explain like unless you go through it. But it didn't hurt, it wasn't bad, it wasn't too long, it was only 11 hours. I only pushed for like 10, 15 minutes. So I was lucky though, I know that you sometimes it doesn't turn out like that. I know my mom had to get cut pretty far when she had me because I was a 10 pound baby. Ev was only 7 pounds and 3 ounces, so she wasn't that big. And I didn't tear or anything so I would say that the more painful part though would probably be like peeing afterwards and I didn't even tear and it still hurt and probably how they push on your stomach during postpartum and then the contractions that you have when your uterus is shrinking those kind of hurt too but the labor in itself was not bad um, the next question I got was were you ever scared and there are definitely like I said like times that I doubted myself during my pregnancy and that I got scared and I was like there's no way we can do this like we're still young like I don't have a job um, like how are we gonna be able to do this but we have so much amazing support from our family our friends and everything like that so we got everything that we needed pretty much from our baby shower we only had to buy like a couple small things but we did get gift cards as well so we probably only spent a total of like $200 on items that we needed for her 
Um, so the support was just really nice. And then when she was born, like our car currently doesn't have air conditioning, but we have, um, Colin's grandma picks us up sometimes. My grandma's picked us up and took me and her to the doctor. My friend Kirsten literally drives me everywhere. Anytime I need to go anywhere, she's like, oh, I'll take you. So just like having the support surrounding us, I think makes it a lot less scary. I think if I was doing it alone and I was constantly home by myself and I had to do everything by myself, like single moms, like shout out to single moms because I have Colin here with me and we have support and everything like that, but I just couldn't not imagine doing it alone. And I know like my mom did it alone and I have like so much more respect for her now, like seeing like how it affects me, like how hard it would be to raise a kid by yourself because it's very time consuming. It can be stressful. Sometimes you just need like a five minute break to kind of calm down if they won't stop crying. And it's just impressive, like honestly. Um, the rest of these are from Instagram. They aren't anonymous, wow, words. They aren't anonymous, but I'm just not gonna say the names. I don't know if they'd want me to or not, but. So this one is the first reaction when you found out you were pregnant. And basically, if you go in my first video, I talk about kind of where I found out I was pregnant, which I'll link that below. I think it's like uh, 18 and pregnant, teen mom story time or something. But I, uh, got erythema nodosum on my legs which is basically I had golf ball size knots all over my legs they were hot they were red sometimes they itched they hurt I couldn't walk it was awful and I was like googling like you know like WebMD but I was looking up what that could have been because at the time I didn't know that's what it was called but and that was the closest thing that I found that looked like that could be what it was and one of the main causes was pregnancy and at that point, I was only like three days late on my period, which was not a big deal because like I'm never like the same exact day every month. But I um, wasn't sure about it. And then I waited until Thanksgiving. I took a pregnancy test at Colin's uncle's house, which I talked about in my first video too. But since we were like at a family like gathering for his family, and it was kind of the first time I really met like his family on that side, I was like kind of freaking out because like we obviously didn't want to tell anybody yet or anything and I like didn't really know what to do so I didn't tell him but he just kind of figured that I took it and that I was because I was being weird so we went downstairs and just like cried we weren't really mad or like upset it was just kind of like shocking at the moment like I wouldn't say that Everly was planned but I wouldn't say that she was not planned because we like had kind of talked about it a little bit and like knew we wanted to have kids eventually it was just obviously like sooner than what we had originally planned but we weren't really taking the right measures to like prevent it either so now we have her we wouldn't change it for the world but yeah I was def we were definitely a little scared and like just kind of didn't know exactly what we were gonna do because at the time we still didn't have our own place or any of that I was I just I actually had a job but then I lost my job because I couldn't walk <laughs> and I was a hostess, so there's that. Um, the next question I got is, are you so in love with Everly? Is it more intense than you could ever imagine? And the answer is yes, definitely 100% yes. I think that Colin and I could both agree on that, that you like love your parents and you love like your cousins and you love your friends and I love Colin and he loves me, but the love that you have for your kid is like no other kind of love it's definitely like makes you have like a different perspective honestly on everything around you like you notice so many different things and like um i can't even like put it into words but basically i thought i knew what love was until i had my daughter and it's definitely a lot more intense than i could ever imagine and it's just incredible i would not trade her for the world. The next question I got was, or not really question, it's a statement, but it says, tell the story of how you told your parents, which Colin's at work right now, so when he gets home tonight, I'm going to film that and it's gonna be at the end. But I will tell the story of how we told our parents. Okay, so we ended up being a lot busier last night than what we had thought, 
that I want to get this video out, so I'm actually going to post uh, how we told our parents like story time tomorrow, and I promise I'm actually going to post it tomorrow. I just need to film with Colin when he gets home tonight. We don't have anything going on, so I'll actually be able to do it. So be on the lookout for that. <laughs> um, the next one is how's life as a mom so far, and it's actually really good. I'm home by myself from like 10:30 until 8:30 every day Monday through Friday which is actually really nice because we have a roommate and him and Colin both work at the same time so I get to kind of have free reign to the house I get to clean and put everything how I want it I get to breastfeed her in the living room and we just kind of sit on the couch and hang out and uh, I cook my own food and it was definitely like a weird transition but I think that's the next question but it's I really like it it's really rewarding I feel like just like her, like when she's awake, the way that she looks around and the funny noises she makes and the funny faces she makes, it makes everything that's hard about being a mom worth it. Like waking up three times in the middle of the night and whenever she cries, like it makes me upset because like, I don't know if she's in pain or whatever. If she's like not hungry because I just fed her or whatever. But the next question, it was how's life as a mom so far? Is it hard transitioning into being one or is it easy to adapt to? So I would say that like being a mom is kind of like everyone like I feel like women just have like a maternal instinct. So like we bonded really really fast and the transition really wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be just because I have my own place which I feel like if we were still living at home it'd be harder cuz I'd have too much help because my mom stayed with us for about a week when I first had Everly and I felt like I wasn't able to do things the way that I wanted to do them and like I knew she was just helping me because like I obviously didn't know what I was doing really because I've never been a mom before but now that it's just like me and Colin here I get like a free range of like what I want to do with her and like how I want to take care of things and like be my own parent like I don't have to like parent how my parents parented or whatever but it's really not bad now that I, like I have like a schedule like kind of a routine which I'll post probably morning and night routines like pretty soon with me and Colin because we're both here in the mornings and at night but um then last question I have is how bad was the delivery was it super painful or did they give you meds also congrats you have a beautiful fam so thank you I really appreciate it um I personally think that Everly is the most beautiful baby in the whole world but I am biased because I'm her mom but <laughs> um I would have to say Again, like my labor wasn't painful because I did get the epidural. Some people don't. One of my friends just had a natural labor. Actually, two of my friends did. One of them said that it was absolutely terrible and that they would not recommend it to anybody. But the other one said that it wasn't really that bad. But from my perspective, I don't think there's anything wrong with getting the epidural. I know that there can be like side effects for like the rest of your life, but it's not very common for like bad things to happen from it. And I don't think that I would have enjoyed my labor and delivery as much if I was in so much pain the whole time because the fact that I was able to not be in so much pain I felt like I was more present in my labor and delivery and like knew what was going on I was aware and I wasn't screaming and crying and upset I was just like happy and like looking forward to like what was to come which obviously was my daughter but um, you don't get a gold star you don't like get a reward for having a natural birth which props to you if you can do that because I don't think I could but I don't know I just don't think there's anything wrong, wrong with getting that epidural I know that's like a controversial like topic but um, yeah so thumbs up if you want me and Colin to do the controversial parenting tag because we do lots of things that people keep telling us not do okay not lots and not like bad things like just like pacifiers and like formula versus breastfeeding all that which I don't give her formula I tried to give it to her one time and because uh, my milk hadn't come in yet and she did not like it she literally wouldn't eat it so we don't give her formula anymore but I don't think there's anything wrong with giving their kid formula but anyways that's a whole nother video but um I did not film an outro so here is Ev please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell and we will see you in our next video